Oh, it's time. Here goes nothing. I cannot believe how much were in those two drawers. It is definitely time to clean up those drawers, don't you think? Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Dude is behind the camera, and we are all about simple faith and simple food. Thanks for tuning in to another Simple Faith video. And today I am going through my spice drawers because it just needed to happen. Like half the stuff, do I even use? I know that these packages are likely spices that I'm just refilling, but I haven't refilled my jars. So I think those are probably things that I will keep, but I'm sure there are things in these jars that I no longer use. And the reason why I have so many spices is because I like to cook different things. My kids like variety, we like variety, and I love introducing new flavors to the family. And sometimes things work out and sometimes they don't. Like really dried fenugreek for Indian cooking, but I don't do a whole lot of Indian cooking. So there are a few Indian spices in here that I probably should empty out because they've been here for quite some time and I'm sure they've gone stale by now. All right, I think what I'm gonna do first is just take, make some room on the table. So I'm gonna take away these packages and see what I have in my jars. That's a lot of spices, right guys? I don't know how many there are, but when you buy those pre-stuffed spice racks, oh, there's yeah. quite a few of those too. There's a lot of spices in those spice racks that I don't think I would ever use. So that's why I ended up buying my own jars and filling them with the things that I use. So I think more than half of this I do use. So let's just put them in different piles. Cumin, basil, garam masala, ginger, crushed red pepper, cardamom, cayenne. Oh, I see I have two five spice <laughs> jars. Garlic powder, celery salt, coriander. Cinnamon, cloves, onion powder, parsley, paprika, dill, sage, thyme, oregano, white pepper, chili powder, turmeric, nutmeg, allspice. See, these are my own mixes. Greek. Ranch, taco, and these I don't think I would need that much of. Oh, poultry, oh, this is not poultry seasoning. This is my Italian mix that I needed an empty jar. That was the one that came up. Sesame seeds I need to replace. And these are mostly Indian spices. Indian chili, amchur powder, fennel, cardamom seed, dried fenugreek, and this arrowroot. So really I only have six spice jars that I can repurpose. So as my cooking has changed over the years, I guess I have added new spices that will help flavor those new flavors. And as I always tell the kids that when they don't wanna try something new, that I always make them try it at least once because it could be the most amazing flavor that they've ever had. And if they never try it, they'll never know. Most of the spices that I have in the packages are to fill up the jars that I just haven't done. And the reason why I chose the same jars is, well, you know, if you look on Pinterest, all organized spaces use the same containers so that everything fits properly and looks nice. If you put all these like random things together, it's really hard to find things. So I do like putting them 
in similar, well, in the same containers if I could. And like I said earlier, there's a lot that I can repurpose. And I just wanted to share with you some of the new spices, I guess, that I've added to my collection. In case you're wondering, these are not going in these jars, but these are vanilla beans. I use them for baking and they're great. They're super fragrant. They last forever. And I am not putting them in the drawer, but I just thought maybe you'd like to know. Cinnamon sticks also will not fit in the drawer. So I've got to put these in a different place. Then I have star anise that I often use in Asian cooking. Cloves. I don't know what I use these for, but I must have had to use it for some recipe or other because they're whole. Zatar is a mixture of a variety of spices. And for a while I was cooking quite a bit of Middle Eastern food that uses a lot of zatar, but I haven't done that in a while. Saffron, let me tell you, the cheapest place to buy saffron because saffron is super expensive is Trader Joe's. So, you know, this little jar, like I think pretty much that's all that comes in a jar is this little teaspoon. I don't know if you can see through the bottom, but I don't dare take it out of the container. I just leave it in this one. I also have roasted sesame seeds, which I use in a lot of Korean and Japanese cooking. This jar of dehydrated garlic is actually quite good. I bought this because there was no garlic left in the stores at one point and yeah, they became quite easy to use. They just totally rehydrate in whatever you're cooking. Then I have a couple of containers I'll probably put in the repurposed jars. So one is mustard, ground mustard. I don't know why I don't already have a jar for it and Sichuan pepper powder. So these spices here really represents the way I cook. And if I didn't try to incorporate new flavors or try out new recipes, surely this channel would not exist because what would I be like teaching you all? Nothing, because I would have nothing to share except for the same old, same old. And that would just make our channel more stale, kind of like these spices here. And I think life is kind of like that. We can go about our daily lives just the way we do every single day without any change, without anything new going on. And then we end up being bored or, you know, being uninteresting. But I think God has greater plans than what we could ever plan and he is doing a new thing all the time. And just like I tell the kids, if you don't try something new, you may not know that it's something that you will love and think is amazing if you didn't try it to begin with. And if we don't take that step to explore the new opportunities that God presents, we may never know what amazing things God had in store for us. So I do want to encourage you all to, you know, take a look and see what God is doing. If he's doing a new thing in your life, embrace it and see what blessings God has in store for you.